two hundred buffalo hide spray. What are you paying? Two dollars a hide? So you can wait for the stage to take the market. I'll wait. I think the hides are going up. Go on in, tell Ed to give you a credit slip. How'd you make out? I'm going with Spriggs' outfit. Just saw him. That's the same Sprague as owns this trading post, ain't it? Yeah. He's got all the top-notch hide hunters. Been around here for years. I may be going with a fellow by the name of Jet. He's got a pretty big outfit. Only offering wages, ain't he? Well, I don't know as he said exactly, you but... better see if Sprague won't take you first. You'll be sure of a square deal and some of the hide money. There's Sprague. When you get a chance, ask him. Hey, Smiley. You ready to sell your hides? <laughs> ah, no. I'm waiting for the stage. I want to get St. Louis priced. All right. You'll have your cash before supper. Hey, by the way, is Tom Doan still driving around for you? Yeah. Well, I heard that you and Jude Pilchuck was taking him in partnership. Well, we are. This is going to be his last trip from Little Bend. Oh, he'll be on time today. Well, yep. What happened? Chased down here by a hide piece. Oh. White men dressed up like Indians, war paint, feathers and all. Just a few minutes ago. But I guess the stage must have scared them off. Where'd they jump you? Back yonder by Twin Forks, I was picking up a pile of hides. You sure they weren't Indians? Can't fool me on Indians. Did you ever see Indians go on war path with a wagon? Well, they had one all right, because I seen it. Pretty smart trick, taunt it, huh? Hide thieves trying to put the blame on the engines. Huh. Well, come on. Let's see if we can straighten this thing up and then we go back and look around.
up and Joe Kerchuk out of a ditch. They're being around supper time. Want to see him about anything urgent? Yeah. Oh. Will you see him? Will you tell him I want to talk to him? Wait a minute, Millie. This letter for your stepfather. A man asked me to hand it to him. Thanks. Get your end up there. Put yeah. that thing down. Well? Ain't you got sense enough to put the smaller things in first? Leave that to ride on the tailgate. I packed wagons long time before I ever met up with you. Then it's about time you learn how to do it right. And we ain't got all day. I thought I told you to put the ice corks on. It ain't time yet. Well, you better do as I tell you to do. Ah, do it yourself. I ain't taking orders from you or any other woman, Mrs. Jett. Oh, yes, you are. You're taking orders from me. I'm running this camp while my husband ain't here. Well, go ahead and run it. What's going on here? Jane! Hey, come here. Now, now what's the matter? Ah, oh, she's all the time. What coming. are you interfering with the men for? Just when we're getting ready to move. He's a rotten horseshoer. I fired him. No, you didn't. I'm running this outfit. Now, you get on back to your own work, then. Hmm. All right. She won't bother you anymore. Go on. All right. Mother, where's Jet? I'm not your mother. Call me Jane if the name Mrs. Jet makes you jealous. Jealous? Well, I don't know what you mean. You're no more related to Jet than I am. I've never claimed to be. Ha! Huh. I guess Jet's just as glad of that as you are. But you needn't worry about it as long as I'm alive. Why don't you take up with one of the boys? You could soon get one ready enough to fight your stepfather off when he gets funny. Yeah, better order up another load of grain. Oh, Millie. Uh. Oh, this came on the stagecoach for you. Oh. Oh, this is good news, Millie. We're going to be rich. My last shipment of hides brought three dollars a piece in St. Louis. And half of everything I get is always yours. What are you talking over with her? Ain't I supposed to know what's going on? Where's Pruitt? Not back yet. From what I just heard down at the post, they didn't get Piltrock. I told you it was a fool idea. If you're going to have the big outfit you're talking about, you'd better get smart. You'll be strung up before you get away from here if you ain't careful. But you're running things. Hmm. I'm glad you understand that. What's in that letter? Well, you needn't be so jealous of her. There's a place here for both of you, if you know your place. Yes. Get somebody to fix that wheel. Well, what's the matter? You didn't get Pilchuck. The stage come along. That's no excuse. If you hadn't turned tail, you could have put Tom Doan out of the way at the same time. It'd be a lot easier for us this fall if 
Sprague didn't have those two head in his outfit. What happened to the wagon? I lost a rim off the wheel. Where? I don't know. Hurry and get that wheel off there and burn it up. Get another one on right away. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a wonder to me, Jude Pilchuck ain't trailing right behind you. Come on, get rid of this Indian stuff. We're through with this kind of small business. You better get out of the post and hire 10 or 12 regular hunters. We're going to have to hunt some buffalo of our own. Make the outfit look right. What's it pay? Uh, promise them anything. I don't know what Sprague's going to say to you getting married and talking that young gal along. I'm against it. Of course, I'm against all women. How many times have you been married, Jude? Mm, five, counting Indians. I never had much luck getting a steady wife. Of course, that stepdaughter's a right nice girl, I guess. But I hate to see you get mixed up with that Jet outfit. You know, there's a doubt hanging on Jet. Used to be a horse thief. If I don't miss my guess, that whole outfit has took the hide stealing. The tires are off the wheel of one of his wagons. It ain't gonna be very hard to trace that war bonnet to him either. Well, I'll take up my suspicions of spring. I gotta get Millie away from that outfit as soon as I can. Yeah, I wish you could do it without getting hitched. Yeah, Prince. Take off your hand. Well, did you hear what happened? Yeah, I heard a couple engines run you off the road. A couple? Huh. They weren't no engines. Who's been spreading lies around here about me? They was hide thieves. Ask Tommy, he'll tell you. All I know is I found him in a ditch. I don't know how he got there. <sighs> then you better come on in and have a drink. You're trembling all over. <laughs> Millie wants to see you, Tom. Thanks, Bill. Now, where's he hot-footing it to? Can't wait to see that gal. Has he got it bad? Fixing to get hitched? And he says he's gonna tote her along hide hunting. Maybe you can talk to him. I'll do more than talk to him. He ain't gonna get mixed up with that Steven Jet outfit. Well, something's got to be done. I've argued myself blue in the face. Now, don't ask me about the trip, or what I've been doing. Because only wives ask those questions. Tom! But you can start tomorrow. We're going to be married tonight. Mrs. Tom Doan is going buffalo hunting with her husband in the morning. <laughs> How are things back at the camp? Worse than ever. They're pulling out in the morning. I wasn't going with them. I couldn't. That's why I wanted to see you. I was going to ask you to marry me. Well, go on. Ask me. <laughs> Will you marry me? I'll be considering it, ma'am. Of course, I'll have to ask my pa and ma. I figure a sprague for pa, and for ma, I reckon we'll use Pilchuck. Do you think they'll consent? Mm, it's going to be a big shock to them. They'll probably disown you. I'll talk them into it. Can you slip away tonight, right after dark? I think so. They'll all be busy. But I'd better hurry back now and start packing before they miss me. When you hear the signal, watch your chance. I'll be waiting.
shut up, will you, Jude? How do you expect me to figure with you sitting there mumbling to yourself? Well, I'm just trying to tie up some things in my mind. There weren't no rims missing on none of Jed's wagons. Not a sign of an engine feather. I went over there looking around, sort of a friendly visit, <laughs> as far as appearances went. Wasn't able to find out nothing. Hmm. Hey, things are lively around here every day, ain't they? You ought to be making a barrel of money. I don't know why you want to go hide hunting. You're a better storekeeper. Always what? Somebody's got to go along to keep you from falling off cliffs. <laughs> now what are you looking for, Injun feathers? Or maybe I might have laid my shawl in the back here. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, we got one thing settled. We ain't gonna take no bride with us. If Tom marries that gal, you'll have to stay here and take care of these books. Oh, you're weakening, are you? For the last hour, you've been saying he couldn't get hitched. I said she couldn't go along with the outfit. You can marry and leave her here. Well, that ain't gonna save him. She'll be waiting for him to come back. It's our duty to save that boy from making a lifelong mistake. You've made five and wriggled out of them. You hadn't ought to begrudge him one. Oh, well, <laughs> being in love ain't gonna hurt him. Ain't no harm in that. It's getting hitched where the trouble begins. Well, what would you do about it? Tell him he can't have the partnership. He's gonna lug that gal along with him. That'll fetch him to time. All right. You tell him. You probably don't know any more about keeping books than I do. Of course, we promised it to him. Gonna make it kind of hard on me to face him. Oh, I thought if I waited long enough, you'd get chicken-hearted. I'll tell him. He ain't to have the partnership? You heard me? Oh, now, Sprague, don't say that. You can't go back on the boy now. What's a few marriages between friends like us? If he marries that gal, the partnership is off. You won't keep your word, eh? Well, I've been noticing here of late you've lost what little character you ever had. Listen, you'll give that boy his just desserts, or you and I are going to split. Right here and now. I haven't changed my mind. I'm going to get married tonight. Then you will go with the outfit. It's all the same to me. Count me out right now. Looks like we'll have to give in, won't we? Well, if it's going to be a wedding, better shave. Keep an eye on her till we get out of ways. We're ready for that box, Mrs. Jett. Uh, how about it? Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, we're ready. All right. Go ahead. I guess I won't be needing you, Parson. Too bad, Tom. Good luck to you. Thanks.
Take her back to the wagon. I'm not on the seat with you. What's happened to you? Sprague! Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Tom's been shot! Hold him up while I examine him. Sorry, you got a nasty man. I guess it ain't so bad. He's a bad Who shot you, Tom? Jed. I got to get her and bring her back. Got a bullet hole clean through your shoulder. Where's Jed now? Headed for the Red River. Give me some water and some clean rags. Clean out one of those wagons, put in some straw and some buffalo hides. It's the hand of Providence. Saved him from getting married before he's old enough to know better. You think he'll be able to travel? Yeah, he'll be all right. We've got to be moving today. Well, he can stand it. you some soup to, to build you up. How is he, Jude? Oh, he's doing fine. I'm afraid it looks like he's going to live. <laughs> when I get on my feet again, I'm going to quit this outfit. Say, to hear you take on this way, you'd think that Sprague and me have done you a dirty trick. Well, what would you call it? If you'd help uh, me... Ah, here, hush, hush. You get that fever up again. A couple of weeks, you'll be up driving one of these wagons. Now, here, take this. No, I don't want it. Hey, uh, listen. I went out and got a couple of priority chickens and stewed them and made this broth, and you're going to eat it. Well, I tell you, I don't want it. The hell, you don't. Come here. Hey, you're getting along fine, Tom. Ten days more, you'll be back to saddle. I hope so. We'll be down in the lowlands about the end of the week. Still thinking about that gal, ain't you? Shut up, will you? No, I won't shut up. Anybody that can't forget a gal in four weeks ought to be talked to. Tom! There's a freighter. Right over and ask him how far we are from the big herd. Still pretty sore, ain't he? 
Oh, he'll have something else to think about as soon as we sight Buffalo. Hi there. Hello, stranger. What's your outfit? Sprague. What do you know? Not much. We've been hunting stragglers, the main herds over on the Red River. Everyone over there is making a big killing. You didn't happen to see anything of the jet outfit. Don't recall any such name. Uh, there would have been a good-looking girl with them. You know, dark brown eyes. And... I ain't seen a good-looking woman in five months. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Get up, Curly, Ray. Are we headed right? I don't know. Didn't ask him. Hey! Where are you going? Thought I might take a look over the rise and see if I can see any buffalo. Don't you worry, son. I'll let you know when buffalo around. I can smell them. Boone, you can certainly smell buffalo. <laughs> hey, Sprague, there's a good-sized string of buffalo over the rise. How big a herd? About 200. Here, take these reins. What are you getting all excited about? 200 buffalo ain't worth stopping for. Well, as long as we can't depend on your smeller anymore, we might as well set up camp around here. Of that last herd, Jude? Nah. I reckon we must have skinned now 5,000 hides the last two weeks. Bring me up some more steaks. All right, just a minute. Where's Sprague and Tom? Second buffalo over in the next valley. Yeah, we'll have the men peg out these hides before they start curling up. Well, I'm glad you lost your grouch, Tom. Can't hold on to it forever. Oh, you'll find that gal one of these days and marry her. She's the right one. Jude and I are sorry we didn't start out that night and fetch her back. But we didn't realize. Oh, we're just a couple of old fools. It's a hunting party. Look, they've sighted a herd. Kill a few for meat. Say, those buffalo are heading toward our camp. Come on. Everybody out! A big herd of buffalo heading this way! Skinners together, and come on. Hey, 
Can you smell him, Jude? <laughs> Hold him, medical! They're heading straight for the supply wagons! Take this load clean into Twin Forks. Sprague wants to market as many as he can before the winter sets in. All right, Bob. Oh. Don't lose no time in getting back. Yeah. Oh, I... Look out for news of the jet outfit, will you, Bob? No, sure, I'll see if I can't find them for you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, hold it up here for a while. I want to take a look around. Spot another load, and he's alone. Wagons. Yeah. the quiet with you to away. Good thing you let him go. Mm. Maybe you'll have something new to talk about. <laughs> I wonder if you'll get any high. No. Buffalo all left there early in the fall. You know you can't argue with Jude. He'll be blowing in. 
to be in for it if he has any luck. <laughs> He'll be riding this all winter long. <laughs> been traveling, ain't you? Yeah. Why don't you step down and have some supper with us? <laughs> I was just going to suggest that myself. I got a whiff of that deer meat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred, get down and rest your legs. Have something to eat. Be right with you, boy. What say, Sprague? Ain't you getting ready to haul steaks? Well, I know. We're waiting for Pilchuck to get back. Why? In your trouble. Well, we got warned day before yesterday. Ain't anybody been up here? No. Well, the army's got riders out all over the territory. Everybody's got to move into Little Bend. Well, say, if it's that serious, I reckon we'd better follow you right in. Sit down. Tom will fix you up. Thanks. Hello, Smiley. Hi, Tom. Hello, Mr. Smiley. Why, Baldy, you old <laughs> son of a gun. You. How are you? Hey! What kind of a season did you have? We'll market about 15,000 hides. 15,000? <laughs> Boy, you sure got me beat. But I'm not complaining. Why, say, Tom, some of those tenderfoot outfits will be lucky to get out alive. Say, Frank. Yeah. Pack up so we can leave at daybreak for Little Ben. Pilchuck is in Wilson County. We'll pick him up there. Right. Whoop. Where there's hunters, there's hides. Where there's hides, there's thieves. You know, Tom, some of the camp's been hit pretty hard this year. Any idea who's doing it? Randall Jett. That's what a fellow told me. Where's he been working? Oh, up along in the White Horse Creek. So they say, but I don't know. Say, don't you want to stay over with us tonight? I don't think so. Snowed pretty hard up there. It's going to be down the valley in there, too. Yeah, I've been watching it all afternoon. I'd like to be down a little bit before she falls. There's nothing an engine likes better than to catch a hide hunting outfit stalled in the snow. Well, what you buy for the supper? Oh, you're welcome. So long, Tom. Good luck to you. I guess there's no use talking to you. Why don't you take two or three of the boys with you? Well, I'd like to go along. You could bring the wagons in. No. I'm going along. I understand. Good luck. Get to the middle, Ben. Then we got one thing in our favor. The 
this blizzard keeps up, won't have no engine trouble. We better get out of here before Jake gets back. Ah, he won't be in before morning. We got time for a couple hours sleep. What are you doing with them hides? We're taking them. You're getting wages with this outfit. Wages? There wasn't anything said about wages. We're supposed to get half of the hides. You weren't to get half of anything. And you ain't leaving this camp with what doesn't belong to you. Unless you want to take her. Nah. I'm considering Jet's feelings. We're taking the hides. You boys be ready to leave at daylight. Hmm. Outfits stuck in the snow all the way. They'll be easy to handle. Pick your own crew from the camp below. Mrs. Jett here will take charge of the second outfit with Pruitt and Catley. I'll stay here. Make this a permanent camp for the winter. All right. Better get some sleep. Who's Millie going with? She stays here. And I'm going with Pruitt and Catley. Well, gotta have someone with them I can trust. They need watching. Not anymore. Uh, where are they? I killed them. They were sneaking off with half the hide. You made a mess of things. I was protecting our property. But I needed Pruitt and Kathleen. And you don't need me. Be a lot better if you were in there with them. Oh, Millie! Millie! What have you done with her? Nothing. Millie! Mighty anxious about her, ain't you? Why is she? Let her go! Let her go! You'll never have any other woman but me, Randall Jett. 
That's our outfit. We've got to get a little bend. I'm all right. Let's hurry. Another outfit of trapped the Twin Falls. They had to put up much of a fight. Well, they'll be wiped out unless we help them. Well, we'll be on our way in five minutes. This whole wagon train will go. Hey, everybody! Get around, everybody! Over here! Over here, everybody! Over here! Wagon train strapped! Everybody get lined up for Twin Falls! The Siwash have got taken Huggins' outfit. Circle in. They're going to be wiped out unless we help them. Now we take all the wagons. And we'll give him a surprise party! Hey, Smiley! Here, can Lily ride with you? Sure, get right up, miss. Right over there. Take good care of her, will you? I will. Now, can you drive while I'm shooting up? Sure. All right, let's go. Go! Hey!
you be needing of a couple to stand up with you? Yeah, you could be your bridesmaid. <laughs>